Pangolins are fascinating as they are the only mammals in the world to have scales. The scales are made up from the pigment keratin, the same substance that make up our toenails and fingernails. Pangolins have these scales all over their body, which they use like armor in defense against threats from other animals. Unfortunately, this armor doesn't help them, but rather contributes to one of the reasons pangolins have become one of the most trafficked animals in the world and the most persecuted in Nigeria. Growing up in Nigeria, the biggest threats pangolins faced were hunters who killed and ate or sold them as bushmeat, the categorical term for wild animals killed for consumption. This was until the introduction of the pangolin into the global trade market. The introduction of Asian dealers, primarily from China and Vietnam, led to the indiscriminate killing of our local species of pangolin, which is now listed as endangered by the IUCN. Poachers were able to get local hunters on their side by paying significantly more than its local value. For instance, the pangolins sold as bushmeat could go for as little as $10, but on the international market, it could go for as much as $250. This introduced all sorts of bad players into the system. Nigeria has today become a global hub for illegal pangolin trade, primarily to weak security structures and non challenge towards the protection and conservation of wildlife. About 50% of seized pangolin parts on the international market are linked to Nigeria, according to World African Fund, a leading NGO for conservation in Africa. The kind of species of pangolin we have in Nigeria is called the white-bellied pangolin, primarily found in the rainforest areas of southern Nigeria and the Middle Belt. In total, about eight species of pangolin still exist today, even though all eight species are now classified as endangered. Most conservationists say the rate of poaching is simply unsustainable and we might see a total eradication of the species in the coming decades. With the relentless work done by conservation groups in partnership with authorities, the Nigerian government does finally appear to be taking action against the illicit pangolin trade hub. In October 2023, the Nigerian Customs Service bond seized pangolin scales valued at about $1.4 million. This was significant as it represented zero tolerance for pangolin trafficking. Time will tell if the government is sincere and serious about tackling this menace.